When you were a kid, what was your dream job used to be? Maybe you wanted to be a racer or an artist, or maybe you were a basic kid and wanted to become an astronaut. No shame for that, of course. But imagine a time one or two centuries ago when some kids wanted to be log drivers or call stalkers, or they went full savage mode and wanted to become ice cutters. So in this video we are gonna tell you about unusual but important professions of the past. Enjoy! Before alarm clocks became a thing, people still had to wake up early for work. That's where Knocker Up came into play. They were basically human alarm clocks wandering around the early morning streets and tapping on people's windows with lawn sticks. Sometimes they used a pea shooter for upper floor windows. Knocker Ups would not leave a client's window until they were sure the client had been awakened. Just imagine someone tapping on your window each morning. So before you complain about your annoying phone an alarm, think how do you feel about a knocker up visit every day. It's still a mystery how these knocker ups manage to wake up themselves. A lamp lighter was an old profession from a time when cities were illuminated by gas streetlights. Every evening the lamp lighter would light up the streets using a lone pole with a flame on the end. He would go from lamp post to lamp post, performing this important task, making it easier for people to travel after dark. Come morning, he would extinguish the flames, conserving the fuel for the next night. They also maintained the lamps, performing tasks like cleaning the glass and refilling the oil. It was a nightly ritual, part of a forgotten era, that came to an end with the advent of electric lighting. A log driver's profession involved moving logs from a forest to sawmills or pulp mills downstream. The work was tough as logs were transported through rivers or man-made flumes in all types of weather. The profession required exceptional physical strength, agility and quick decision-making. With just a pike pole, log drivers skillfully managed large numbers of floating logs, guiding or dislodging them when necessary. However, this profession was not without its risks. As a single mist step could result in being trapped under a mass of moving logs. The rise of trucks and railways gradually led to the profession's decline by the mid-20th century. During the pre-radio era, the profession of a lector was widely practiced in cigar factories and textile mills. Their main role was to read out newspapers, books, magazines and sometimes personal letters to the workers during work hours. This served as a way to break the monotony of labor. Paid by the workers themselves, lectors not only entertained the workers, but also educated them and kept them informed about social, political and global issues. The tradition was popular in countries countries like Cuba and Spain and was later adopted by American factories. With the advent of radio and the increase in industrial noise, the profession started to decline by the mid-20th century. Ice cutting was hard physical labor that played a vital role in the days before refrigerators were invented. Brave ice cutters would face freezing temperatures, typically during winter, to collect natural ice blocks from frozen lakes and rivers. With their sharp, specialized saws, they would carefully cut out large blocks of ice. These heavy blocks would then be lifted onto a waiting sled or wagon using massive tongs or hooks. The ice was stored in insulated buildings called ice houses. This naturally frozen H2O was delivered throughout the year to homes and businesses for various uses, like keeping food fresh and drinks cold. A coal stoker was responsible for maintaining coal-fired furnaces on trains, ships and in industrial factories. The work was extremely demanding, requiring manual shoveling of coal into the furnace to keep it burning, adjusting its temperature and cleaning the ashes. Coal stokers had to manage their coal supplies efficiently to keep things running smoothly. Plus, they needed to know the machinery inside out to fix anything that went wrong. The working conditions were often dangerous due to extreme heat heat, smoke and dust. This crucial role became obsolete, as machines replaced manual labor and cleaner, more efficient energy sources became common.
common. A rag and bone man in the past was an individual who traveled from neighborhood to neighborhood collecting unwanted household items. With horse drawn carts on foot, they roamed the streets, shouting or ringing a bell, signaling folks to bring out the junk. Whether it was scraps of fabric, bones from last night's dinner, old pots, pens, or even paper, he collected it all. Each item had a value bones for making glue, rags transformed into paper, metal items melted down and reused. Used. Basically, they were the earliest form of recyclers. The profession largely disappeared in the 20th century due to organized waste disposal and recycling. Switchboard operators were the human link between phone calls similar to today's digital operators. They were tasked with connecting long-distance calls, business communications, emergency calls, and aiding in finding local numbers manually by inserting phone plugs into appropriate jacks. Their office was a messy web of wires and jacks. They skillfully managed multiple calls at once, always attentive to the light signals on the switchboard. Speed, efficiency, and politeness were crucial for this role. While initially dominated by men, women later largely took over the profession as their voices were considered soothing. With automated systems rise, the profession largely disappeared by the 1980s. The town cry was like a town's news broadcaster in the days before the internet and mass-printed news became common. They would ring a big bell, grab attention, and then loudly announce important information, news, or even advertisements in public spaces. It wasn't just any shouting, it was an official position trusted by everyone. With their distinctively loud voices and often extravagant uniforms, town cries played a vital role in history. Whether it was news about new laws, market days, or even missing pets, the town cry ensured that the people were well informed. As printing became more common, their role became obsolete. In the past, riding an elevator wasn't as simple as pressing a button. Elevator operators played a crucial role in the early days of elevator technology. They were responsible for manually controlling the elevator's movement and ensuring passenger safety. They would use a lever or switch to control the elevator's speed and direction. They also announced floors, gave warnings before closing doors, and often helped passengers with questions or directions. Politeness and communication skills were essential for this job. Smooth steps, proper alignment with the floor, courteous service – these all marked the makings of a pro. They were seen as symbols of elegance and sophistication in major buildings. Before the advent of personal computers, typists were commonly found in various industries such as businesses, schools, law firms, and government agencies. These skilled professionals were responsible for typing documents using manual typewriters. Their main tasks included producing letters, reports, and other types of written materials. However, unlike the convenience of modern computers, typing on manual typewriters required a considerable amount of finger strength. Speed and accuracy were crucial qualities for typists, as mistakes were difficult to correct. It was a desirable job for women, creating a shift in workplace gender demographics. Have you ever thought about how people used to communicate long distance in the past? Richard! Meet the telegraph operator. These skilled individuals played a crucial role in transmitting and receiving coded messages through telegraph lines. Using a system of dots and dashes known as Morse code, they acted as the middleman between senders and recipients. Their job involved decoding incoming messages and encoding outgoing ones. By connecting telegraph stations across cities, countries, and continents with wires, they relayed information about weather, news, or even law notes. Being quick and accurate, was vital, as they often relate urgent information. Telegraph operators really kept the world connected. Milkmen used to play a vital role in people's everyday lives before the era of 24-7 supermarkets. They were like the modern-day delivery service, waking up early in the morning to load up the milk trucks with fresh milk from local dairies. While most people were still dreaming, they would go from door to door, delivering glass bottles of milk, no matter rain, snow or heat. Payment was easy, all you had to do was leave money or a check under the empty milk bottles from the previous day. This profession has now become a forgotten symbol of old-school service. In conclusion, it is amazing to see how technological progress has completely changed the job market, making some professions obsolete. 
This forces us to constantly learn, adapt and evolve. Who knows, the job you are doing right now may one day be the topic of such a video in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing for more videos like this.